welcome to another video. I want to have a chat about an old age debate about overtraining. Does overtraining exist? Now, before we get into this, let me just clear up a few things. A lot of people use overtraining. So let's say, what is overtraining? So overtraining is where you go into the gym and you go ham. You go hard as a mother. The whole click, huh? I'm going ham in the gym. You know, you're doing drop sets, you're doing triple sets, you're doing triple drop sets, you're doing rest pause, you're training for like five hours. That is what most people call overtraining. Now, does it exist? Does it, is it, does it have a negative effect on your gains or is it <laughs> stealing your gains? My opinion on this is most people use the whole overtraining is bad to mask the fact that they don't actually want to work hard. I just can't do that drop set because it's just overtraining. You know, my muscles won't recover. And in all honesty, that's what most people say to avoid the pushing barriers. But overtraining can exist. And when people say, Overtraining doesn't exist. There's no such thing as overtraining. You just train for like hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. It makes me laugh because as with anything, there's so many parameters that are involved with it that need to be in check before you can actually do things like that. So let's talk about point number one, food. Simple, food. Are you eating enough? If you're not eating enough, then how are you meant to go ham in the gym when you don't even eat enough ham? That was awful. That was awful. But it's true. It's true. If, you, if you're not eating enough, how do you expect to go hard in the gym? That's like buying a Ferrari and not putting any fuel in. What's going to happen? It's not going anywhere, is it? So unless you're eating to support your ham lifestyle of going hard in the gym, triple drop sets, quadruple drop sets, it's just not going to happen. You're not going to replenish yourself with the nutrients that's needed to be able to grow. You're just going to be eating away at yourself. Second thing is sleep. Are you sleeping enough? All these people, you see them like tired and stuff like that and they're in the gym and they're like, oh, I only had four hours of sleep. I'm back in the gym. 6 a.m. crew, 5 a.m crew 4 a.m crew why has that become such a thing oh i woke up earlier than you i went to bed late and i woke up early i i'm better than you where did this come where, why why what where did this come from it doesn't make you better than me i slept my seven or eight hours so i've replenished myself i've repaired myself everyone's so obsessed with tearing muscles in a gym tearing muscles ah, ah, but they don't focus on let's sleep and let's repair the muscle. My hands are dry. Literally just put cream on them. So yeah, sleep is, is key. You need to be sleeping about six to eight hours a, a night. If you're not, then you're not giving your body adequate time to replenish itself and to repair itself. So going ham in the gym is deemed pointless in this case. Third point, water intake. How much water are you drinking? If you're always training dehydrated, do you think you're gonna see enough gains? Your body is made up of 70% water. So if you're not drinking any water to replenish what you're sweating out, how do you expect to transport nutrients around your body? And then the last point I'm gonna talk about in this video, because I'm, I'm just freestyling. Freestyler. Is training frequency. How frequently are you train in each body part? And yes, powerlifters have three lifts. They have bench, squat, deadlift. And they normally do this every day but they have something called programming so it's not going hard as her every day you don't see them doing triple drop sets you don't see them doing giant sets you don't see them doing anything remotely like that so they're not overtraining they're just training so there you have it most people do use overtraining as an excuse to not train hard but then most don't actually have those points in check so you in turn are overtraining get those points in check and you too can train hard just like us but that's all we have time for. If you like this video, give me a big old like. Don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section. Don't forget to share across all social media networks, Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys later.